to Sai Focus by Biopatrika. I am Priyanka Pandit, host for today's session. And today we have Dr. Dhananjay Patankar, who is an independent professional supporting various aspects of biopharmaceutical development, manufacturing, and business strategy. So, Dr. Patankar, could you briefly tell us about your current role and work? So, as you uh, said, I'm currently an independent professional, but uh, for the past over 25 years, uh, I've been working in the development and manufacturing of uh, biosimilars and novel biologics, and that's what I continue to do uh, now, um, except that I'm no longer associated with any single organization. I work with, uh, you know, a, a variety of academic as well as, uh, uh, you know, industrial uh, organizations. That's great to know. Which module topic you will be covering during this CBT course series? So the CBT course, as you know, uh, is going to cover a wide variety of topics, uh, right from process development, analytical development, uh, clinical trials, regulatory, you know, how to file for a, a drug with the regulatory authorities and so on. So I'll be uh, talking about a couple of topics uh, in the overall module dealing with um, uh, developing a biosimilar for global markets. Um, and by that, I mean, uh, uh, you know, Western, primarily Western markets like US and Europe. Oh, that's interesting. If a fresher wants to attend your session in the series, what, I, what are the basics that one should gather before attending? So it depends on what the person is doing. If they are currently involved in any of these activities that I talked about, whether it's process development or analytical development, uh, then of course they'll they'll get to hear more, uh, you know, more details and more in depth about those topics. Um, it, otherwise, it's uh, of course beneficial if they know a little bit about, uh, you know, how a drug is developed or how a biosimilar is developed. Uh, you know, just some familiarity so that uh, you know they can really. Uh, get the best out of the course. But uh, if it so happens that they don't have uh, that basic understanding, I think no harm done. Uh, uh, you know, they'll, they'll still get to learn. In fact, there are some overview uh, se sessions as well, and they'll definitely get to learn uh, something new. Uh, but it would be helpful if they knew a little bit of the basics uh, on drug development or uh, any of the technical functions. Yeah, that's right. Participants like PhD scholars or industry professionals, how do you think they will benefit from this course? There are, uh, you know, of course, all of the topics that I talked about, a variety of, uh, you know, modules being talked over about for over the four days. And it's not just the core technologies that uh, are in use today, but uh, there are also, um, you know, modules dealing with uh, some future uh, directions of technology like artificial intelligence and machine learning and data analytics, which is becoming a big thing in um, industry now. So they'll, they'll learn about all of these things. But even more than that, I think it's the quality of the speakers and the course faculty, because these are all leaders uh, with years or decades of experience in, uh, in the industry or in uh, academic institutes, or even uh, you know, people with experience with regulatory authorities like the FDA. And, uh, you know, being able to interact with uh, this kind of galaxy of uh, experienced people uh, at close quarters, asking them your questions, asking them doubts, interacting with them, not just in the lecture, but, you know, during your breaks and so on. Uh, I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, and people can, uh, you know, ask whatever questions uh, they have on their mind. Uh, and and uh, most of the speakers will uh, try and help them. So it's a wonderful opportunity, I think, for everyone. Yeah, I too agree with that. Um, are you looking to network and also how do you think this course will help speakers as well as the attendees in networking? Oh, uh, you know, you never uh, stop learning no matter how much uh, experience you have. Uh, first of all, the industry itself is changing. Uh, you know, you learn new things. So when you meet other uh, professionals, your, your, your colleagues, uh, you know, people who have worked in other companies, uh, you get some new perspectives. Maybe you've been doing some things in a certain way and you get to hear other ways of doing the same thing that others have used successfully. Even meeting the attendees, uh, you know, you learn about what uh, what the uh, what is in the minds of the younger people 
uh, you know, what types of questions, uh, uh, you know, uh, keep them curious. Uh, and so that's that's always a learning experience uh, for even for uh, for experienced people because we you know we uh, we also learn from those who ask questions. Uh, in fact, I find uh, I have to uh, very often prepare hard to answer questions from uh, uh, people who are uh, freshers because they, they you know they they ask really out of the box questions sometimes. Yeah, that's right. I I I also love curious minds. So, Dr. Patankar, thank you for sparing your time and sharing the limbs of what's to come at the CBT course series 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.